Jessie Draper, the Valley Girl. Valley Girl. What does your company do? Have you ever Googled yourself? Totally. What makes a great entrepreneur? What's your next big idea? Tweeting's like my favorite. Let's talk business. I'm like the Valley Girl. The WPP Group is one of the world's leading advertising companies and communication services. Based in the United Kingdom, it employs 140,000 people in 2,400 offices in 107 countries. Sir Martin Sorrell has been the CEO of the WPP Group since 1986. He is also a knight. Well, welcome, Sir Martin. How yeah, are you doing? A this is a first. I'm absolutely fine. Well, I thought I was fine until I came onto the set. <laughs> No, I'm not so sure. Do you feel uncomfortable on the pink? No, 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 no the pink is no, no. The, the, the height is fine. I mean, it's good. Just, it's a little bit different. It's different. It's a, a bit barbyish. You know, I'll give that to you. It's definitely different. Yeah, it is different. Um, yeah. Do you remember your first entrepreneurial experience? Uh, yeah, well, I, I was well, I was going through my andropause, or what, what women would know as menopause, and men call <laughs> andropause, at the age of forty. Well, forty is actually a, a pretty bad. I'm sixty-five now, so I've been at this for twenty-five years. No, the only, only thing I would add is, which I, I tried to say a little bit this morning, is I think in addition to being an entrepreneur in the context of startups, right. you can be an entrepreneur in the context of taking an established company, which is sort of what we've been trying to do, uh, and drag them kicking and screaming into the 21st or 22nd centuries. Where do you have offices? Do you have offices all Everywhere. over the world? Well, uh, we have, we Everywhere have a, in the whole world? Uh, well, worldwide we have about, uh, we're in 107 countries and we have... Uh, uh, we, as one analyst said many, many years ago when we took over JWT, when he said JWT has problems in parts of the world that most people don't have places. So, <laughs> <laughs> or has problems in places where most people don't have places. So um, no, we, we're wi we're widespread, but the clients that we work with are the big global companies, so Ford, Procter & Gamble, Unilever, okay. Johnson & Johnson, Microsoft will be our top five. And then we work with the big regional companies, and then we work with the with the companies, as in India, which are companies like Tata, like Infosys, like the two Ambani companies, the okay. two Re Reliance companies. These are companies that are, you know, uh, and um, Mahindra's companies. Uh, these are companies that are, are rapidly becoming some of the biggest companies in the world, not just in uh, India and Asia, but elsewhere. You know, Tata owns. Uh, Tetley T, Chorus Steel, Jaguar Land Rover. So these companies are becoming very important. Um, I have a question for right. you. I would like to hear the story of your knighthood. What, what is that what you call it? My knighthood, okay. Your knighthood. Well, I can be desperately indiscreet here, you see. Okay. Right, so there's the story of the knighthood. I mean, the story, the most amusing story is that, you know, when you, when you, you, you have to kneel in front of the queen and you either get knighted by the queen or by Prince Charles. I was knighted by the queen. So she, she, she dubs you, you know, she sticks the, the sword on your shoulders and on your, your head, etc. And you know, rise Sir Martin or whatever it is. And then you have a brief conversation with her. Okay. And she is meant to be exceedingly well briefed. Well, there, there was something sort of a little bit of a disconnect with me. I don't know what, what it was. Um, but she said to me, um, are you still... So I just, you know, it was, it was a wonderful day and you, you go for the day and your family goes, etc. And she said to me, um, you know, are you still involved in the business? So I was a little bit taken aback by that. And I said, well, ma'am, um, uh, I, I am, unless you know something that I don't know. <laughs> and immediately the hand shot out, the hand being, thank you, thank you, that's the end of that. Tell me something about yourself that nobody knows. Well, it, it, if that would destroy the point. <laughs> Well, I, I said, no, not nobody knows. A few people know. My, my, the, my, I'm a second-generation immigrant. So, so my, my grandparents came from Kiev, okay. Ukraine. Right? Wow, I've been to Kiev. I am closer to, you know, 23andMe, you know, that spit analysis that you do. Oh. Uh, Esther Dyson is on our board, who's quite a well-known internet entrepreneur. And she was mortified to find out that I was closer <laughs> to Sergey Brin than she was. She was. She was. Uh, she's also <laughs> Russian, Russian origins or Ukrainian. I don't think she's Ukrainian. I think she's Russian. Um, so, but what, what you, what you, sh what, what they don't, don't know. My grandparents were. So my mother died a couple of years ago, and I was looking at her, her wedding certificate. Uh, rather, her, 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 my father's parents' wedding certificate, and on the certificate, so they left Russia or Ukraine in 1907. So before the revolution, and they turned up in London. And, um, or they didn't turn up, they went to London. 
and they didn't have a wedding certificate, my grandparents, oh, on wow. my father's side. So they had to go to the births and deaths and marriages, and you get a, you know, a proper UK um, a, a marriage certificate. And then my mother's papers, when she died, I was going through her papers, was their wedding certificate. And um, so you have the, the bride and the groom have to, to sign, and two witnesses. And the bride and the groom have a cross against their names because they couldn't speak English. Or, oh, okay. Uh, and the witnesses, I think there were two witnesses, either two or four, all crosses as well. I have a little Thai challenge this is the, for you. This is the challenge. Yes, this, this is, is extremely the... boring too. Are I'm you ready? I'm not going to do the dancing. <laughs> I'm going to watch you do the dancing. And ask my wife, Chris, to come and do the dancing. She's much better at dancing than me. Okay. So I can do anything with this, can I? How fast can you tie that tie? How are you going to tie it? When do, when, when do we start? Ready, set, go. Oh, this, is, this, is, this may be the fastest. Yeah. This is going pretty fast. <laughs> is that okay? <laughs> this is Does great. that qualify? High five. <laughs> great, great tie tying. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't think this would make, this wouldn't make the Cannes Film Festival. <laughs> I'm like the Valley Girl. And I'm like Sir Martin and I feel an absolute burk saying that. <laughs> <laughs>